everybody welcome back to another tuesday grilling video and we had so much fun doing our culinary circumnavigation around africa from a food perspective we're doing it again and this time we're heading down to the islands and it's all about jamaica my wife and i have been lucky enough to spend quite a bit of time in jamaica and if you've ever spent any time there, you know brown stewed chicken is served everywhere. It's at every restaurant, it's at every little roadside food stand. It is absolutely delicious. It's flavorful, it's typically served over rice, what they'll refer to there as rice and pigeon peas, which is a rice and beans kind of equivalent. We're gonna just do it over white rice here, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really easy, I think you're gonna love it. All right, let's talk about the ingredients. You need six to eight pieces of chicken. Typically, when you're in Jamaica, it's gonna be bone in all the time. Um, typically, it's the whole chicken cut up. So you have breast, wing, thigh, and, uh, and legs as well. I'm gonna be doing this with um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They're really flavorful, and actually it makes it a little easier, especially with the little ones here. They uh, prefer not to be working around the bones. So I have um, six pieces of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm gonna set that aside for a moment. So let's talk about the ingredients in the marinade. Typically you wanna mix this up and, and put it back in the fridge for an hour to overnight. Doesn't really matter how long, the longer you leave it, the more flavorful it's gonna be. That marinade's pretty easy. We've got about a cup of onions, uh, one small onion chopped up, one um, scallion just chopped up. I also put one small sweet pepper in here just cause I had it. Uh, three cloves of garlic. I actually have a little bit of tomato paste here and that's a, probably a controversial one for any Jamaican. Either your family added ketchup or your family did not. Uh, and there are two very opposite sides and opinions on that. We have a little bit, we're gonna put just some of it in there. We also have salt, a little bit of thyme, chili powder, and ground ginger. We have two bay leaves. We're gonna use a little bit of um, allspice, ground allspice. If you're in Jamaica, that's called pimento. And they have small little pimento berries that they'll crush in a mortar and pestle. It's exactly what it is, is allspice. A little bit of paprika. We're also gonna use a little bit of this Sazon Tropical Seasoning. Uh, it helps with the color. It's really just onion powder, salt, pepper, garlic, and then some coloring. But we're gonna add a little bit of that as well. And then I've got two teaspoons of brown sugar. Um, don't worry about this, it's not a sweet dish. That's really just for the browning, if you wanna make it dark brown, which is what typically this is. Uh, if you don't wanna make this yourself, which is just braising a little bit of brown sugar in a little bit of oil and keep it moving until it gets a nice caramelized color, uh, I'll show you that because we're gonna do it. If you don't wanna use this, no problem. Just buy some of that uh, browning season. It's probably in your local grocery store. It'd either be Banquet or, um, or Grace Brands are the most common ones I see all the time. So with that, we're just gonna dump all this in and we're gonna mix it up with our chicken. Well, forgive the last couple of scenes where we were doing it inside the patio there. Uh, typical Florida here. As soon as I started to get all the ingredients out and record, it started raining. So as you can see, you know, typical Florida. It lasted for about 10 minutes, um, but it's now stopped. So I moved everything back out here. It's certainly better light than inside. Let me show you how we mix up all those ingredients I just showed you. Okay, really pretty simple. We're gonna dump in our onions. Do the same with our garlic, chopped up garlic. Green scallions and a little bit of sweet pepper. And I'll list all the amounts of the dry ingredients, but this here is the thyme, the ginger, the allspice, the sazon, salt, a little bit of pepper, as well as ground ginger. And now we're just gonna mix this up. And don't be afraid to get your hands in here. You really wanna coat this chicken. We're just gonna cover this up and put it in the fridge. All right, so this has been marinating in the fridge now for about two to three hours. Um, <laughs> it looks pretty amazing. The color starts to really just infiltrate all throughout the chicken, so all of it has that same sort of orangish red, brownish color, which is gonna be phenomenal. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put a little bit of oil in our pot here. I like these porcelain coated cast iron ones because things don't stick in them too much. So I'm just using a, uh, a vegetable oil. This happens to be peanut oil. You can use vegetable or canola. I wouldn't use olive oil for this. What we're gonna do is we're really just going to sear that chicken and, and we're gonna take it off and we're just gonna set it aside because after that we'll make our browning sauce and then begin to add everything in to make that brown stewed chicken. So let's let that oil get hot. So what we wanna do is we wanna now get most of the vegetables off of this uh, meat before we go ahead and cook it. So you'll notice I'm just taking each one and I'm just saving all these peppers and onions and scallions and just putting those right back into our bowl. We're gonna use all of that later. 
But what we don't want to do is we don't want that to fry in that oil. We really just want to uh, braise the outside of this chicken. That's the purpose of this next step. Now with our oil nice and hot, we just want to go ahead and put this right in there. And I have this pan here because you may very well need to do this in batches, which is kind of what I'm doing here. This only needs a minute or two on each side. And then we're going to pull it out and put it right back in this pan I have here, just set it aside while I do my second batch. After a couple minutes, you just want to check it. You want to flip it when it's the amount of brown that you want to see on it. Again, we're going to braise this in a liquid so it doesn't have to be completely cooked through. All right, so at this stage, we're going to take this browning chicken off of here. And we're just going to set it aside on a pan because we're going to make our browning sauce here. So all I'm doing is I'm using a scraper here and I'm scraping some of these bigger chicken bits off of the bottom. And I'm going to save those for later just because I don't want those in my browning sauce. So I'll tell you what, you ready to help? If you can dump that brown sugar right in this pan. There you go. All right. So she's just added the brown sugar into that little bit of oil. It's probably about two to three tablespoons of brown sugar. And we just want to keep stirring this. And by the way, when I say keep stirring, I mean keep stirring. What we're looking for is a bit of a caramelization because that is what is really going to give it the browning. You can see how it kind of gets a little bit gloppy. That's exactly what we want here. It's going to start smoking a bit. That's all right. We're just waiting for this to get a nice brown. Now, if you have some of that banquet or grace browning seasoning, you won't need to do this. This is just the way to get that browning. And it cooks the sweetness right out of it, but it gives it that nice, dark, rich color of stewed Jamaican meats. And you start to see it's starting to get that darker color. It's exactly what we want. Now, when it gets the color we want, we are gonna stop that color darkening by adding our chicken and our stock. I'm gonna drop this chicken in here again. I'm gonna pour that sauce in and mix it up. Now let me kind of talk about what I just put in here. Um, that was actually two cups of chicken stock, and I'm actually gonna add another two cups here in just a moment, um, but I only carried that much outside here. Matter of fact, I mixed up the chicken stock uh, in more concentrated, so that was actually four cups of chicken stock mix in my water. You can see that nice rich color. We wanna cover all this chicken and let it stew real good. All right, will you add in the tomatoes? We're gonna add just a little bit of tomato paste. We now need to dump this in there. Do you want me to hold it? And what we're adding in here is all of those vegetables we had chopped up in our marinade. Can I mix them? Sure, let me hold this. That doesn't look good because of the vegetables to you. And then you do the bay leaves. All right, just drop them right in there. All right, I'm gonna cover this up and leave a little gap here. I want some of that steam to escape, but we're gonna cook this for about 20 to 25 minutes and then we're gonna come back and check on it. Ideally, what I want to have happen is for some of that sauce to cook down and concentrate. And again, you can look at that color. It's gonna be a nice, rich brown as it begins to cook down, and those vegetables will soften up and just become delicious. All right, let me clean up some of these other items while that's cooking. It's been 20 minutes. It's not quite as tender as much as I want it to be, so we'll let that go for about another 20 minutes or so. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. Well, I had a little bit of meat that uh, went bad, so I threw it in my crab trap. We'll see if we got any crabs coming in. I don't think so, but... Nope, no crabs. So all in all, it's been about 45 minutes. After 20 minutes, we came and checked it. You wanna always watch it, make sure the water stays above the chicken. But I've left this open and cracked because I'm wanting to let more of that fluid out. I want to um, reduce all of the sauce down into a thicker gravy and really concentrate those flavors. I'll tell you what, this is looking and smelling really good. Um, oh, the flavor's phenomenal. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me, uh, let me move the camera over here. I'll show you what this looks like. The chicken's done. It's, it's fork tender, definitely ready to go. Uh, all we want to do now is get that uh, 
the sauce reduced even more, almost to a gravy consistency. So take a look at that. See what I mean? Look at that color. Just phenomenal. And what we want to do is just make sure that this is fork tender and, and just you can see how it would just fall right apart. It is ready to go. I don't want to break up too many of these because it's nice to have full chunks of chicken in there. That's looking ominous. And I really want this to finish cooking down and just reduce. So got the heat cranked up a little bit. Hopefully. You know what, if I can get another three or four minutes out of this, we will be golden. Guys, Did you I don't know if you guys see that, but that is humongous. Yeah, it's looking pretty cloudy, isn't it? Let's get the pool floats picked up. All right, everybody, the rain has just started. I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna run in the house with it before it starts pouring. I'm gonna end this video here, but we'll do a close up right in a second, showing what this looks like. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday for another grilling video while we continue our circumnavigation of culinary delights around Jamaica.